hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding Odoo SH platform so we all know that Odoo SH is a cloud platform controlled by Odoo SA so Odoo SH has been introduced a couple of years before and I think it's around three years now where we can development we can perform our development staging and deployment like it's like all-in-one platform where we can do our development we can do the testing and we can go in live or production from the same instance so in this video series about Odoo SH we will be covering all the topics around Odoo SH and how to work with Odoo SH so as an initial video in this video I'll be just giving an introduction about Odoo SH and in the further videos we will go deep into Odoo SH and how to use it so currently in the screen I have opened the website that is odoo.sh so here you can see the website that I have opened is odoo.sh so simply you can type odoo.sh and you can open the Odoo SH website so here you can see once you have Odoo SH you will have such a UI so before going into that let's discuss the features of Odoo SH so once we buy an Odoo subscription, we need to get a server to install Odoo source code. Suppose if we are using locally or if we are installing Odoo locally, we cannot access it from anywhere. So if the Odoo instance has to be accessed from anywhere, we have to install it in a server. So we have to buy some server from DigitalOcean gcp aws etc and we have to pay money there and then we need a developer to monitor or to perform the development activities so odoo sh is something like a server where you can do your development where you can do the development you can deploy and everything so odoo sh works like it it is interrelated with github like once you create a project in odoo sh it will create a github repository so i'll make it clear once again what we can say suppose if you buy a odoo license you have to find a server where you can install the odoo instance then you have to use it then you have to pay for that server then you should you have to maintain the server like if you face some difficulty in slowness you have to get some developers to fix what's the issue like that you have to do so once you have odoo sh you don't need to worry about buying a separate server to install Odoo. So Odoo SH will be providing for Odoo SH will provide you a shared hosting or a dedicated server for you. So let's see all these things. So if you go to these features, you can see it has been useful for developers, testers, project managers, and system administrators. So for developers, it is directly linked with github suppose if i am doing some development to some projects i can directly commit to that corresponding jit repository so i told already a project in odoo sh will be linked with a github repository so once i done some code changes i can directly commit to the github repository and odoo sh will automatically pull that commit to odoo sh and it will create a new build or new database with latest changes by keeping an old backup of previous instance like currently we have a running Odoo instance and suppose if I make some change I'll commit to my github repository it will automatically add the latest code to my Odoo instance so it is linked with github and you have continuous integrations clear logs and everything so if you check this page you will understand the usage or the features of Odoo SH and for the tested the testers there is automated test manual test etc and for project managers it will be easy to track what's the current status or what all things has to be committed what changes the developer has been implemented everything can be monitored and for system of administrator you can see monitor the instance if it is some law you can trace where the system is getting low and you will have automatic backup great performance etc so here you can see if you go to this so i have logged in as Odoo mates using our email sorry using our github account and we have created a 
project so here you can see this is oru sh and this is my one project and if i click on this project you can see currently it's in development branch so this is oru sh and here you can see just uh, 10 minutes before i have created this project so there is no like many commits only initial commit and if you go here you can see all the mails and if you need to access the shell you can click on here you can see it will be open a web shell and if you go to editor you can edit instead of if you need to do some direct changes from here you can use the editor option so the editor will be opened so here you can see you can access all the source code from here and if you go, need to monitor like if you need to do some performance analysis of the system you can start profiler and you can monitor what all activities has been going through stop profiler will give you a flame graph this is to perform the analysis so here you can see we are getting a flame graph where we can see where the time is getting taken so we will come to that later and here you will get the log of the oru instance so normally if you need to access the log of instance you have to log into the server you have to navigate to the corresponding path and you have to take the log but you can see easily you can get the logs of the oru instance from here you can see it's the oru log you can see from here and you have the settings over here so we will come to this later so this is the oru sh right now i have only a single branch and a corresponding git repository will be there so once i commit something to my git repository it will create a new build here so this is the initial commit and if you commit something else it will be automatically create this so uh, oh, this is the just details about oru sh and if we go back to that oru sh website you can see its pricing actually oru sh is not free so if you are an oru partner using partner subscription code you can access oru sh for free and if you are not a partner you have to buy the subscription in order to try and test the oru sh so there will be lot of people who are looking to learn oru sh but they don't have a subscription code of oru sh so don't worry about that i think this video tutorial will give you enough information about how to work with oru sh so there might be some clients asking did you work with oru sh and people say no i haven't worked oru sh is not a different thing it's same as how you work with a normal server just instead of doing some commands you have some user interface so it's easy and it's a thing that you don't you know so don't worry and say don't not say i don't know about oru sh so it's same as how we deal with a server simply you have to you should have a github account so once you github account you can log in and you will see all the projects here so this is an introduction in the next video we will be showing about how to sign up to oru sh so to know the pricing of oru sh you can see its worker storage depending on that the amount will be calculated based on the different parameters like workers to speed up the oru instance the storage capacity hosted whether it is shared hosting or dedicated how much staging environment you need and based on this you will be charged for the usage of oru sh and you have the faq here and if you need to buy oru sh subscription you can do it from here and also you can access the documentation so if you click on documentation page you will be redirected to introduction to oru sh so that's all about a introduction to the oru sh so in the next video we'll be showing about how to sign up to oru sh so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you